record mode. Ready. No recording on all cylinders. That doesn't make sense. It's not a thing. Maybe yeah, it is. Well, well those wax steampunk. cylinders. Steampunk. One of those steampunk podcasts. Yeah. They're the hot new thing. That's it. How do you think? Um, can you give me a little volume bump? Sure. I'm, I've got you, you want, maxed. You want more? I'm kind of like, I'm not really talking loud, though. I mean, I was trying to avoid talking too loud. How about this? This is where I'm at. Is this, is this kind of good? A yeah, more? Good. I can give you some more. You're good. I just have, you know, actually, that's perfect. Do it right there. Is that perfect? Yeah. I mean, you sure? Yep. I can give you a little more. Nope. Okay. Positive. I had a little oh. room to move. I didn't realize. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. For some it. reason, every time I restart my every time I restart Discord, line goes to zero for some weird, weird reason. Weird reason. Weird. weird <laughs> Will Wheaton. Yeah. Some weird reason <laughs> that I don't understand. All right, this is good. All right, here we go, everybody. It's time. I hear myself okay. a little bit. Why? Hold on. Test yourself. Me. 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 I hear it. It's probably your headphones. I was going to say, I turned my headphones down. How about now? Okay, let me try it now. Eh. Eh. It's, it gets much quieter. Okay. And, and I'm never going to go, eh, in the show, so it's fine. Yeah, don't do not do that. Yeah. Don't. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. Never. All right, here we go, everybody. Hold tight. It's time for the show in three, two, one. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> This is The Boop Show, episode 231. It is January 13th, 2020. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Boop Show. It's, uh, like I said, the 13th. We're well into 2020. There ain't no stopping us now, yo. We are on that track, and it's going forward with all steam ahead. I'm Scott Johnson with Brian Dunaway. Hello, Brian Dunaway. All steam ahead. Come on, we play other platforms as well. Oh, yeah, that, we shouldn't give steam all our yeah, love. All the I love steam. steam. Yeah, you love steam. I love steam. Mm-hmm. I love me some steam. I've it's heard so you. Good I don't like steam. steam. Oh, you don't like steam. I love steam. Wait a minute, which is it? I don't like steam. Oh, my gosh, I don't know. Fake news. Think. All right. Uh, hey everybody! That's We're one at- of those. That's one of those deep fake voices. Don't don't buy it. Oh yeah, don't careful. You'll never know if it's Mark Zuckerberg or not making a making a video. You never know. You never know. Jerk. Anyway, we're back. Uh, got some good news for everybody. If you're listening out there, uh, the Boop Show is now. Back oh yeah, better a- listen up. Here it comes. Here yeah, comes the big news. This is big news. The show is going to be weekly again. Uh, we oh, had a man. whole lot of busyness happen in the latter half of last year, so we made it bi bi monthly, but. Uh, the show is back to a weekly schedule. We'll be back every. I'm Monday. excited. Yeah, and if there's a, you know, we have something come up that may change it. Uh, but oh, absolutely. But we're always looking for creating better content, and yep. if that means doing it once weekly, cool. If it means doing it once every other week, we do that too. Yep. It's, it's all about just creating fun, uh, compelling content. I want to make a new. I want to make a new um, uh, segment called uh, "Awesome Game, Stupid Name." Oh, I like that. <laughs> Where I go back in time and find a game that was great, but it had a terrible name and it almost ruined it because the name was so bad. Oh, give me. Do you have a for, for example that just like really crawls in you? No, I just liked how it not rhymed. Top of your head? I liked how it rhymed. And so I'm. I'm oh, not, yeah. I'm well, I like it. Well, that's like, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Then we could like do a deep dive. Yeah. It's like asteroids. What a stupid name for a video game about a big old giant asteroid. That's dumb. Yeah. See that? See? You get the idea, right. but I'd have to find something like. You know, a good one is Galaga. What a dumb name. Oh, yeah, Galaga. Name. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, it's a dumb name. Qbert is a dumb right. name. Chat room's got Q-Bert. some good ones. Qbert's a great one. I love Qbert. Pac-Man. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, so there's there's uh, some so there's some stuff rolling around. That's just one idea of many, and uh, we're excited to be back for a whole new year of uh, the Boop Show. So welcome to 2020. Show. This is our second episode of the new year, right? No. Or is this our first? Wait. No. What's today's date? Um, no. I think it's the first one. Yeah, it is the first one. Last Look at us. Yep. Boop 2020. Yep. Now I can see. The brain is gone. I can see clearly now. Yes. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, great. I can see clearly that it's 2020 because that's a vision thing. <laughs> oh, I that get it. That joke's going to play out real quick. I get it. It's not as bad as what I, I treated the poor sandwich girl the other day to a dumb bad joke. She was back there working at the uh, Pot Belly sandwich place. I love that place. 
And right. um, there's this big oven they got going there that I've told the story on the instance, but I'll tell it again. Uh, the, the bread Tell and the it. melting cheese and the mushrooms and whatnot are coming through this slow oven thing, and it's on a conveyor belt that oh. comes out the oh, other kinda side. Kind of like burger time? Kind of like, like, kinda like that. Sandwiches? A little bit, yeah. yeah. And on the side of this machine is a giant 2020 on it, and it's always been there. I, I noticed mm. it before, even back in 2017 I noticed it. And uh, this time it's rolling through there. I see the sandwich. This girl's being real quiet, and I, she's waiting for it, and I look at her, and I go, Hey, your oven's the right time or the right year now, or something like right that. Year, right, right. Your, your, your oven finally lines up with the, uh, yeah. the year that it is in. How does that feel? I said or something, and she just looked at me like, "Dude, do not, yeah, talk, dude, to me. don't talk to me. I'm just trying to make some. Sam- I'm a sandwich artist. Get out of my face, you creep, you creepy old man. Anyway, if you got a <laughs> if you got a, uh, a pot bellies near you, they they are my sandwich. Uh, choice of all they're really good uh, well all i can think of me is a pot belly is a pot belly pig and i mean I, all i can imagine that it's, it's a lot of ham is it a lot of ham oh they have ham but they got the turkey they got the roast beef they got the uh right. the, the other stuff they make a cuban that is real good uh oh. they make a pizza sandwich every once in a while not always comes back and forth to the menu but that sounds bad but it's actually amazing uh, no they, pizza burger sounds great we have a pizza we have a pizza in around here and it's like Hey, you know what we should do? We should make a, a taco pizza. That mm. sounds good. Yeah. How about a hamburger pizza, too? Mm. Oh, let's do it. Mm. Ooh, a cookie pizza? Mm-hmm. Let's well, you, do that yeah, one, too. You had me at uh, all of those things. For when for when it's pizza out, it's pizza in. Oh, oh. wait. that's a, t- Pizza Inn is a place? Is that a name? Oh, yeah. Pizza Inn. Yeah, absolutely. Tell, tell me about Pizza Inn. I don't think we have them here. Oh, yeah. It's kind of, a, I think it's a more localized place. I don't think there's very many of them, but the ones we do have, like I said, it's buffet. And you just walk in. When you walk through the door, you look at them and you go, I want one of them uh, barbecue pizzas. And like five minutes later, it'll be in the buffet. Nice. Well, it's a, it's a great place. You live an enchanted life. I do. Now this. Time for us to jump into what we are playing this week. And I'm going to start with this game. Oh, I have a weird problem happening. Hold on. I have a weird problem. What is that? Exactly? I know. Where am I going right now? There we go. I'm going to delete these videos. There we go. Uh, what you see on your screen might appear to be some sort of card game. A digital Well, you're signed out of game. YouTube right now, so. Oh, well, I'm just using YouTube. YouTube. Oh. YouTube. I'm like a regular viewer now because they don't let me in there no yeah, more. Yeah. What a jerk. I've been banned. Um, anyways, this, uh, for, for those at home watching this, uh, or however you're watching. Oh, I guess you're right. Uh, actually, a lot of people will be watching this um, live, of course, uh, watching the Twitch VOD or... Uh, some of you may hop on over to library.tv or lbry.tv, which is a big sort of open sourcey, um, uh, not Bitcoin. What's the other thing that Bitcoin uses? What's that called? Blockchain based. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Blockchain. De- yeah. yeah. Okay. Decentralized video service. And um, I've already put a bunch of shows up there for now. Uh, it may all end up back on YouTube, but for now, I just need a place to put it and keep people happy. So that's where I decided to go. Everything else kind of sucks. And uh, part of the problem with YouTube being so big is they have no real competition. And because of that, they uh, don't care of uh, the screw right. people they over like me. So uh, anyways, uh, long story short, that's a great site. You guys can show you, go uh, use that and I'll link it in the show notes uh, if you're looking for the archives of the show. Anyways, uh, what you see on your screen is a card game. And you might I say, love card games. Oh, good. You might say, what card game is this, Scott? And I would say, why this game is one that was recommended to me by a friend of the program Dan Patrice, who is a oh, big time good. tabletop guy, right? Plays lots of tabletop mm-hmm, games mm-hmm. and the whatnot. Love Dan. He's great. Um, and Ooh, he's got one of those blasters right now on screen. Looks like the one from uh, the Black Hole. A little bit. The dual, the dual under and over yeah. blaster thing. You bet. Mm-hmm. Uh, the game is called Shards of Infinity. Infinity. <laughs> I like Infinity. this game so much. I bought it twice. I spent six what? bucks. Six bucks on uh, Steam. Uh, I was on sale. It's normally eight, I think, or something. And I got it for seven something on iPad uh, because a big iPad Pro is like perfect for these kind of deck builders. Um, anyway, if you played games like Ascension, which is a very popular tabletop and digital version of a, uh, of a card uh, deck builder game, uh, then you've played one of these before. It is very similar to that. In fact, uh, dude, what made this game had a hand i i don't know the exact details but they had a hand in helping make ascension but is also famous for being a pro in the magic the gathering circuit oh Uh, i thought this kind of had like a magic the gathering kind of vibe to it 
a little bit, a little bit. Uh, the I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any land, but I'm assuming that the crystals are uh, part of your mana. Very much sorts. so. And the big difference here is this is not a CCG the way that Magic is. Magic is all about. Right. Let me go buy card packs. Let me open them. Let me get rares. Let me build a deck and let me fight you later. And it's a head to head kind of thing. This is a, it's a head to head game, but it's a deck builder in that you both have exactly equal shot at the beginning of the game. And you have the exact possible card you're going to get, uh, no matter who you are, or what you are. It's the deck is the deck. It's, it's not, it's like playing poker. You're not, you're not going to go to the store and buy packs of poker cards that'll give you an advantage in poker. Same thing is here. It's all included in the deck. And when you get them all laid out, now it's just down to the strategy you use, a little bit of luck as to what cards you get, but the strategy strategy you use to, to eliminate cards in the middle and to damage your opponent and hopefully uh, end up winning. There's a bunch of systems at play here. I don't want to get too deep into them individually because I'll just bore people uh, who don't care about this sort of thing. If you do care about this sort of thing, uh, this game... Sorry, I'm going to replay it. Uh, this game is great um i i'm completely hooked on it and you know graphically it's not going to blow your minds uh it, it, it just it just it sort of has a gets the job done sort of interface yeah that's what um, it looks like. so it's not like explosive looking you know uh hearthstone style uh thing you're sort I of see, used to i see this person was playing the easy ai yeah he he's a it, he's a wuss and a wiener is that how you play it or you play with the easy ai no i started that way because i didn't know anything about the game so i did that to learn it Right. Uh, but I beat him even my first game, and so I quickly moved up to to medium uh, and then hard, and then now I'm playing people. Um, people? Real people, yeah. That's a lot of fun. But, okay, so and we're at in the – okay, so this is always the question I have whenever I'm seeing these card games. Mm -hmm. We're at in the life of this game. Are we at? So if you play against other people, are you constantly be, being derailed, or is that uh, are you is it kind of balanced? It's pretty balanced. I mean, there are people that know – See, again, remember, the the game is not about you having something better because you got lucky and got some cards someone else didn't have. I mean, there's a little right. bit of that in the dealing of the cards, right? But, I mean, the deck itself is just the – that's the deck. The standard. That's the deck it gets. So right. it's like playing poker. Right. right. It's like pay, playing poker. So now it's down to – well, poker even has more luck in it. But right. it's down to you going, all right, I've, gotten the, I've got these cards. I can afford these cards in the middle. I can put those in my deck and use them later. Or some of them I can activate immediately. And they – some of them do damage. Some of them give prestige points. Prestige points give you better abilities on – cards later so if you end up with these it's not prestige what's it called crap uh or is it called shards no i forgot oh, that's, it's called shards of infinity i'm sorry i, I thought <laughs> i said shards of infinity shard that's an eternal shard. never get okay. an eternal shard. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's bad it'll never come out of your pants um anyway uh and your so your goal is to not only damage the enemy but also to build up these points so that when you get advanced cards later in the game in the round um you could end up with like some brutal combos like uh, boy, sure, good thing I built up that um, whatever that number is. I forget the name of the number because that uh, because I have twelve of those or I have over fifteen of those. That means this card that is normally only worth four damage is worth thirty damage or some crazy number. Right. But it's hard to get to those other numbers, so you're you're kind of just you know you got to kind of find your strategy and go for it. It's going to take a few games for people to get their heads around it. But if you've had any experience with tabletop car, uh, deck builders, specifically deck builders, that's a kind of a genre then you'll know what this is and you'll be very pleased with it i really like it a lot pretty sure this is like there's a there's like a uh printed version of it. like there's an actual like tabletop oh, version really? of this game right 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 in the same way that ascension ascension and other games that are on steam um they're also you know hard table versions of those as well uh, another uh, example of a game that's like this is um star realms which, again, is right. also a physical and digital game, but it's very similar to this. If you played Star Realms, then you've played this kind of thing. But there's some really cool systems at play here that uh, the other games don't have, and I like it a lot. So that's going to be my first recommendation. Shards of Eternity. In excuse me, Infinity. And they are, it is cheap. It's like 8 bucks and totally worth it on Steam. They also have uh, either... Ex there may be an existing expansion pack or one coming. I can't remember, um, but they they made a nice game here. It's very good. Nice, Brian. Tell me about Earth Knight. 
Oh, I'm going to tell you all about Earth Night, Scott. This okay. 2D platformer uh -huh. uh, that is is basically an endless runner. And you may say, hey, Brian, I thought you didn't like endless runners. I don't. But this game, even though it is technically an endless runner, uh, is very beautiful and reminds me much more of Sonic the Hedgehog than any infinite runner or endless runner that I have played. Uh, this this thing is is painted up, is illustrated beautifully. Uh, it's got a really charming art style to it. What's going on is Earth has been surrounded by dragons. And it's not like the dragons like you see like in uh, Game of Thrones or anything. No, we're talking about those Japanese long snake dragons. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, sure. More Chinese, but yeah, right. I know what you're saying. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I did, that's the Japanese. You're right. So Chinese... Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, so Asian dragons. How about that? Yeah, there you go. I thought I was a little bit of both. Okay, so there, anywho, there might be a bit of both. I'm, I, you might be right, right. about that. Yeah. All right, so anywho, uh, come down. Okay, so here comes the dragons, and and they're coming to get got your luck dragon all coming down, and there's a different color dragons, and they're they're attacking the earth, and uh, you uh, pick one of two characters to play. You either pick, uh, I believe her name is oh Sydney. Uh, who has a couple of different abilities. Uh, Sydney is, uh, if you're looking at the screen now, she's on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. and she has the abilities to uh, jump in different ways and bring on the spirit of a, a dragon. Uh, so those are kind of her special powers. And so she can, I think she can do like uh, a short jump, long jump, and a uh, forward leap kind of thing. Uh, and that's all important because almost all of the game takes place on the back of dragons mm -hmm. because humans these particular humans have uh went to space to get above uh the dragons and uh they're jumping down through uh, the stratosphere the mesosphere uh and they're trying to land on the back of these dragons and they're trying to get parts of the dragon such as uh, uh little you know little dragon scales is what they're doing because when they turn those dragon scales into this guy who's flying the ship for them uh he's He's collecting these things and he's learning about the dragons and he's giving you new weapons uh, that are going to help you defeat the dragons and and beat them back from the sky. Uh, so this game is really really simple. She looks <laughs> it looks really uh, what's the word? Um, it it's all left or right, right? It's well, all sign the hedge. Just the screen's constantly moving. You're jumping and on the back of these uh, these big giant space dragons. Uh, plenty of room to to move on, and above them is like uh, platforms of of space debris, and there's monsters that are hanging out on the back on the back of these dragons, which you have to stomp on generally. However, as you upgrade, you can get stuff like uh, swords and other types of weapons that allow you to kill certain of those automatically. So you'll be running, and if you have a particular sword and just uh, and it's powered up, and you've got it, you can you know just, just decimate the enemy and just keep running through. And to get to the dragon's head, and at that point in time, when you get a dragon's head, that's when you start doing your thing, and you start beating him up, and taking, and trying to get that. That apparently you're trying to get some kind of thing off his eyebrow. That's where you're always attacking him, because it's like right there, his eyebrow. He's like, Weird. and you'll get a little little shard there, and, uh, the and art, you'll take the that art back. looks a little like there's there's parts of the art to me that strike me as like paper mache looking. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, like, like, right, like yeah. cut and paste on top of each other, sort of. Yes. I totally layers get that. and yes, Photoshop it's... sort of thing. It's hard to explain, but right. No, it looks like it looks like it was it, the way it was. It looks like it was the the it was painted like each piece was painted then and then like kind of put together. Yeah. In the uh, in the in the art, kind of like what you should do with like a uh, tweening and stuff and flash and and that kind of a thing. Bit, but yeah. I don't think this was made in that in that format. But the music, oh my gosh, I love this guy who made the music. I'm I'm drawing a blank on his name right now, but if you look up uh, Earth Night and you look up the soundtrack of this thing, it's like $10 I think right now. Um the guy is amazing. He adds he uses uh I believe he uses a Game Boy and a couple of old school uh game devices and and he's modified them so that he can use those sound chips. And then he adds like guitars and basses and stuff, and it's just absolutely fantastic. It really takes you into that old school uh, kind of video gaming. And like I said, just the quickness of it, it could be brutal. Is this it right here? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. I love the music. 
Yeah, I'm into why, that. By the way, while you're in the back of those dragons, you're looking for some eggs, too, which I don't know why. You could really ask yourself, what the crap is going on? This is one of those games. You know you talked about earlier, you like a segment like, uh, what were they thinking when they named it this? I have. I want a segment where I go, what the crap's going on in this game right now that we've just accepted that this is the mechanics in the you know in the in the world we're living in mm-hmm. where we're running on the back of a dragon and there's a whole bunch of just you know there's Lego blocks there's there's purses there's all these weird things on the back of these dragons that you have to collect and as you collect them uh, you turn those in to your uh, to the to the guy on the ship and that guy converts it to water. Water is the most important thing. That's what that's what we're trying to go for. And I'm like, but, but why? And I'm like, but I don't care. Mm. I'm having fun. Uh, so we got to we got to watch Sydney. But Stanley's also there. Stanley has a uh, has like a, a single jump and a big a big jump, and uh, he's a little bit easier to manage in my in my opinion because when you get down to trying to uh, attack the dragon, you can easily see when his arm uh, the most impact with your with coming down with the with the sword. Right. It took me a while to figure that out because with with uh, with the girl, it's just you can't tell what you're doing. Right. But, uh, I really like this game so far. It is actually on the Apple Arcade, so it's a mobile game. Uh, but I picked it up for the Switch, and I think it's on Steam as well for like like around fifteen bucks. I am really enjoying it on the Switch. I have put some major time playing it's this pretty game. crazy looking. Um, I was it's a little fun. I was a little put off by the art style at first, but it actually looks like they make up for it and. Just stuff yeah, you're every, doing. Everything is unlike Sonic in those old school games. These are everything is randomly generated. So every time you land on a dragon, you're going to get a different experience. There's going to be uh, each dragon or each level uh, of the atmosphere has specific creatures, yeah. uh, and then those are randomized how many you encounter and that type of thing. Uh, but they're always the same creatures, so you can kind of get a pattern going. However, as you can see here, I just I just died a few seconds ago. I'm, I'm always making. Oh, is this you, this, by the this way? Me, this you yeah, playing? this is me playing, by the way. Oh, okay. Absolutely. All right. This is me playing. Look how angry she is. She's pissed. She, yeah. She is super pissed. Sydney does not like it when she loses. Uh, She's the, the very art, angry. The um, sorry, the the music artist who did the soundtrack. His name is Chipocrit. Chipocrit. That's it. Chipocrit. Yeah, That's he's good. Thing. He's only yeah. got 13 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Crazy, ridiculous! Because he is amazing. I really dug the the art, the the uh, sorry, the sound of this. It's all very thing. retro. Great. Do another track. Mm-hmm. Here. It's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to this it's later. Really good. Yeah, you nice. should buy the soundtrack. Ten bucks. I bought it. All right. Well, I have it or also. get the game and listen to the whole thing because the game plays it. Uh, the game randomizes uh, the music. If you choose to, you can choose to do like this. Uh, several different types. You can have it have like a full, you know, a full sound or kind of a little tingy sound, like where it sounds like it's in an old old school game. It's like I said, it's it's a good time killer. I liked it so far. All right. Um, by the way, I I'll haven't s- saved the world yet. It's also on Spotify and Apple Music. So if you're looking for this, no, music, not, I did yeah. not know it's on Spotify. I do have Spotify. Yep. It's out there, yo. So there's five layers of the atmosphere, by the way, in Earth Knight. And I've I've cleared two. I'm curious to see the end game. It's mm. going to be interesting. Yeah. Are you going to beat it? Oh, I, I feel like I can beat it. I feel like I can beat it. This is one of those games where it just kind of, uh, you just sit back. You don't have to think much. You're just, you just, you, it's kind of like, I, I, it really reminds me of Sonic. You know, you know, almost kind of like zone out when you're playing sure. Sonic. Sure. Like the old old Sonic, you just kind of like. Eh. Is it like Green yeah. Hill Zone Out? <laughs> right, it is like Green Hill Zone, zone Out. See? Get it? Because that's the name of the zone. That's pretty funny. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You're right, man. Yeah. And I guess that's why they called it that. Because that's exactly what happened. Because it's, it's it's funny because your eyes will lock in like at a, at a certain spot on the screen, and you, you just kind of like when I play Sonic anyway, maybe I have some kind of problems, but I'll I'll kind of I'll kind of lock into one spot on the screen, and it's not necessarily on Sonic. But I know that if I lock in there, that whatever joystick movements I make later on, Sonic will be there. So I'm not even looking at Sonic when I'm playing those games. No, oh, I get you. No, that's cool. Well, uh, let me tell you about a game you've never heard of in your life. You've never heard of this game before. It's brand new. Little Is it in, brand new for 2020? In, uh, uh, small, independent game from a small studio. Oh, it's uh, not true at all. Uh, the game is Modern Warfare. And, um, oh, I'm it. Modern Warfare, yeah. Uh, it's the Call of Duty, latest Call of Duty game. Here's the thing. I kind of gave up on Call of Duty games after a while because, 
quite frankly, they all started to sort of be the same, but also they right. seem to have lost their, I don't know, they're getting all just goofy. It's like, in this one, you can run on walls, and this one's got future weapons, and this one's got <laughs> space, and, you know, it just kind of got away from the It really, yeah, it feels like after a while, you know, it's like, well, what's the gimmick this year? Because they, they've made so many, right. what's the gimmick this year? Right, and uh, this year's gimmick is, hey, y'all, let's start over. Uh, basically, they recreated the original Modern Warfare, which was Call of Duty 4, back in 2006 or 7, was it? Right. Um, they made a, they made good on that. I think in a really uh, major way, this game is fantastic. And I played the, I am, I, sh I shouldn't say played, I am playing the uh, single player, but I'm playing a lot of multiplayer. And that's where I'm the, that's where the biggest surprise came from is just how tight the multiplayer is. Um, yes, you know, there's still a lot of sort of quick deaths and respawns and that sort of thing that the game or that the, um, you know, the series is known for. Right, right. But I play much better in this game than I'm used to. Um, the matching's PC? better. PC's where I'm playing it, although you can play. It. So it's cross. This is the first one that's uh, cross, 100% cross-platform. So right. when you get into a game, it will tell you who's on what platform while you're playing them. And you'll see a little you'll see a little Xbox icon. You'll see a little PlayStation icon. And you'll hmm. know. I wonder how they've, uh, I wonder how they've, had they adjusted any for uh, mouse versus controller? Because, I, I mean... To me, it's a, I'm a lot slower with the controller. Well, like that's, on PlayStation, that's what most people say, right? Like you got to, right. you got to assume that keyboard and mouse has a real advantage. But I can tell you, I've been in some games where I had a mouse and keyboard and thought I was pretty hot to trot, and right. guys with controllers were wrecking me, wrecking. Me. Interesting. So, and then I had a couple of games where I was on controller and other PC people learning keyboards, and I beat them. So. I'm not saying the keyboard and the mouse. I mean, obviously, I think if you're the best kind of player, you're probably winning the most games with the keyboard and mouse. I think that's probably true. Right. But the game plays great either way. And they let you cross, you know, you, you're cross-platforming between all these platforms. And you know who's on computer and who's not. Um, you, uh, I've noticed that during the day, there are more console people available for matches. At night, hmm. the PC people come out. Because um, that's what the PC people do. They've been working all day and they come home and they're like... Hey, honey, I'm going to my room. Yeah. And then they get their, you know, their Mountain Dew and their Doritos or whatever they got there. Or or is it Doritos or Cheetos? Which one do you think? Doritos, really? man. Doritos. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay, Doritos. I, I thought so. I just want to make sure I wasn't sure. Because, you, you you know, you can get kind of messy with, with the Cheetos. But, that, yeah, Doritos. True. And they just... So that's what the, that's where they live. That's where the PC people that's live, That's true. Right? And this game yeah. is running at a silky smooth uh, 60 frames per second minimum. Nice. Uh, more on my rig. I'm actually. I don't. I don't. I'm not even counting it. More on my rig. Look at me. I'm <laughs> Scott Johnson. I got a kick ass. It's kick really kick. good looking though. Uh, they upgraded. What do you, the, what do you got? I haven't asked you in a while. What do you have? I have a 2080 in there. Got the new one. New one, uh, not oh. the 2080 Ti or the. What's that other one they got? That's like ridiculous. Right now, is this something you built or is this? No, no, no. Who's... I did this through Doghouse. Oh, okay, so Doghouse. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 They're great. Cool, cool. People should go to DoghouseSystems.com. They're awesome. Anyway, um, and, uh, what's the point of that? What was I going to say? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, the thing that impresses me most about this game, I think, is the um, sound design. It's in, it's crazy good. Like, right. freaky good. To the point that I went on Twitter and asked a bunch of people who had served in the actual military if this game gives them PTSD. Because it's so mm -hmm. uh, intense and surroundy and and loud right. and just to me scary it's like a really intense war zone vibe yeah, i'm throughout. assuming you mean like uh like the the ammunition how it sounds how the gun sounds everything now is it also like the 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 pum, 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 of people getting hit with bullets and there's the, there's the, some the of that in the morning there, there's some of that there's uh the way that there's certain ricochets that happen on certain surfaces uh the the, right. the sound is all directional so right right um it's not using any of that ray tracing sound stuff that everybody's excited about for this next generation, but it's it's right. it feels like that. Like I can tell when something is distant, near, me medium, way more than I used to. The games have always sounded good, but this one just I don't right. know. There's something going on. So what, what gear are you using for your head? Uh, you for, oh, just a let's see what's this. These are uh, what, are, what is the brand here? These is, are oh HyperX. Oh yeah, the HyperX. You got the HyperX. HyperX. Yeah, which, these which, are which pretty, model is pretty that? Pretty cheap. Say? Pretty cheap. I don't know. Um, yeah. Sub one hundred probably. Yeah, but maybe they, sub fifty. Let's see. Does it say on top? No, I don't know what brand or I don't know what model these are. They come with a mic thing. I pulled that out immediately because I don't use that. Um, right. But they're very comfortable. I get really good sound out of them, so that helps. Hmm. 
But the game itself is definitely a cut above. And I, for fun, just went and did a recent comparison with other Call of Duty games. Black Ops 4, I compared it to the World War II one that came out uh, two years ago. Um, and then this one, and it is definitely a cut above on sound. I don't know what they did. It's um, They do claim that they completely redid the sound engine, so whatever that means, it really comes through. It's, it's incredible. Um, the only complaint when, I have... Which version is this? You said it was the... PC. It's just the... Okay, but what? which... which you said it was the Call of Duty. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's Modern Warfare. Yeah, they just call it Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They've, they've yeah, gotten yeah, you, rid of the you did numbers. This the, I got you. You did this through the Blizzard launcher. I, I know which one you want. Yeah, yeah, okay. totally. It was I on sale you. during the holidays. Got it for 39 bucks. I thought, well, may as well get it now. Right. And then got really roped in hard. Um, my kids are already playing it with their friends and stuff, so I was feeling a little jealous of the good times they were having. Nah. Um, and they're a lot better you than me. You guys in there having fun without me? <laughs> I was worried I wasn't going to be able to compete at all, but I've, I've the muscle memory comes back. You kind of get back on track, and it's all right. It's it's real good. So I'm going to just, you know, again, it's a it's a big AAA title. It'll probably be this year's best-selling game of the year, or last year's, because it always yeah, is. Yeah. It has been for, what, seven years yeah. or something? Yeah. Um, I don't see any reason why that would change, but uh, it's, it's pretty rad, and I want to keep playing it. That's how much I like it. And I can't believe I'm saying that about Call of Duty game. I was kind of sick of them. Oh, you can you can say that about it. You just never know. Yeah. I mean, you just never know when when that one particular release of that franchise will hit you right. Hit you right in the goobers. Hitting you right in the goobers. Right. Tell me Ow. about Woodley. Hold on. Woodley, Woody Tree 2. Nope. What is Let this? me read it for you. Okay. It's the Woodle Tree 2. So like a Woodle Tree, but it's wood. Get it? Oh. It's like little, so it's that's like, terrible. Right, so the developer, I got this uh, I got this code from the developer of Whittle Tree 2 Deluxe Plus. Uh, this published by Chubby Pixel. They were kind enough to send me a review copy, and I said, thank you very much. I think I will. And so if you look at the screen, you'll see me playing a little bit of Whittle Tree 2. I have never played any other Whittle Tree, and I didn't even know the franchise exists until recently but apparently the deluxe plus means that they've they've done some stuff and made it a little bit nicer and i am playing this on steam wow very uh, nice. little tree two deluxe i think it's around t- either 10 or 15 bucks it's not too expensive oh no they use comic sans for their font oh no i i know i, I knew you wouldn't like that part no. uh it's a very cutesy game and it's open world and in areas there is some uh platforming that i thought the open world part maybe kind of uh kind of fooled me into believing that it was uh, a very easy game and when you're in the open world part it is pretty easy and then a couple of the first couple of platforms you hit you're like oh this is not too bad this is pretty easy but some of the platforming can get kind of rough when you get a little further along you're watching me now pick my mask Mm. Uh, these are just mostly just cosmetics right there and you you can buy those by uh, as you go along collecting Uh, basically you're here to save nature you're just a whittle tree with a backpack and a leaf that allows you to float, by the way, allows you to, and also smack things. That leaf comes in really handy. Uh, apparently, there is a dark force about, and it has uh, stolen the the souls essentially of some of our elder trees. And it is my duty, is a whittle, to head out there and to recover, uh, recover that, and to, to restore uh, nature to its fullest glory. Um, this game is is uh, like I said is really simple in some places and it's it's kind of silly and fun and it's real innocent. You can definitely play this with the kids, not a problem at all. Uh, and I like I, I just enjoyed my. I didn't think I, I didn't think I would enjoy myself at first. I thought I was like, oh, this is so simple. I'm like, I'm playing a kids game. Oh, this is just stupid. Mm. And then uh, then I got a little further into the platforming stuff and I was like, okay, a little challenging. I'll give them that. And, uh, and by the time I got through, I was like, hey, I kind of had a good time. Good time. I've revisited a couple of times, and uh, I'd like to have maybe this on the uh, on the Switch or something. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it on good. the PC. But, uh, but it, it, it really lends itself to more uh, controller to me, which I can do on the PC. It's just not as convenient. Not as convenient. Oh, well, you know what? I lied. I just lied. I had the PC copy, and I ended up, because of that reason, I installed the PS4 copy because they sent me two codes. Oh, gotcha. I forgot about that. And my second experience, which is what I think you were watching just then, was much better with the controller. I forgot about that. Yeah, I played that last week. So oh, okay. it'll be good when we start doing our weekly, so I won't forget some of these things. Oh, sure, sure. 
Yeah. Um, what, I actually kind of like the look of it. I think it would be less annoying if it didn't have that damn Comic Sans font. What were they thinking? Yeah, like, man, if, uh, if, if this was like, this is like just half a step away from a good Nintendo title, man. If they had just, if it, if it was just a little bit more, but yeah. it is good for what it is. I like it. Well, all right then. Oh, my favorite part of this. Is this you playing? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You got a, you got a blue screen error. Oh yeah, it did. That was hilarious. I let, it didn't. It did not happen again. It happened just that one time, and I don't know what happened, but it never happened again. It was a blue screen on the PS4, and I was like, "What the crap?" Yeah. And I was, I, I, I really was about to just go forget it, forget it. I'm not playing this game. It's, it's buggy, but it never happened again. Huh. I don't know what happened there. No, just one off. What was happened? Right. I get it. Yeah. Oh, that was on the PlayStation. That was on the PlayStation. Oh, that didn't I, have any trouble like, I thought it was a Windows error. Whenever I see yeah, a and it might screen. have been my PlayStation 4 because I haven't I haven't fired it up a lot until recently and I've done some updates and stuff and uh so I don't know what happened. Oh, by the way. You gotta blow the dust off that shit. <laughs> right. Uh I picked up Dunaway's deals here. I picked up the Dark Siders three. I went to uh GameStop and they had the Dark Siders three for the PS4. Ooh, blurred out there. Uh, for five bucks. <laughs> it looks like you're censoring it. Right for five way. bucks, man. Five bucks. I've been, I've been, I've been hanging out at the GameStop because they've been doing all kinds of deals. I also got the Sega Genesis for like twenty five bucks. Oh yeah, I did the, you I did that, that too. by the way. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, right here. Here's the controller. Came in. Brian put turned me on to it. I got it through mm -hmm. the the online store. They had free shipping as well, and yeah. uh, ended up with the Genesis. Now I didn't order the six button controllers because I already did this once, Sega, back in the nineties. When you came mm -hmm. out with a six-button controller, and I already had my Genesis with its regular three-button bullcrap, and you were like, oh, if you want to play Eternal Champions or freaking Street Fighter right. uh, 2 the way it's meant to be, you better get those six-button controllers. So I've already spent that 100 bucks or whatever it was. <laughs> well, you want me to do it again? I know they're only 19 now, but are you serious right. for this thing? Right. No. Shame on you. They should have packed it. You. I know they're going for like original Genesis right. realism here, but they should have packed the six-button controller in there. It they really should It annoys me. Yeah. annoying all right uh well that's good there's that game uh quick mention for me i'm back into the witcher 3 in a bad way uh i bought into the hype oh me too yeah this hype is bad it's for it's real the hype is real and uh the tv show didn't help the low price during the holidays didn't help and everyone reminding me about the fact that it's one of the greatest games of all time yeah. probably the best game on of 2015 game, it's on game pass right now too you're talking about three right yeah oh yeah game pass yeah. as well steam had all-time highest concurrent players playing this this single player game uh over the holiday like it's just crazy how much renewed interest there is suddenly yeah. in the witcher i'm not going to put it all at the feet of the show because i think the show definitely had a part of it, part in it but i think it's just a kind of a combination of things and one mm -hmm. of them that people don't mention is certainly on the pc side of things uh it runs so good now and looks it looks so good still. This game doesn't look like it's five years old. It right. just looks insanely good. So the thing is, a lot of people had it back then, and it ran kind of bad. Now they right. now they got better computers, better hardware, better video cards, and they're like, oh, this is how it's supposed to look. Oh, it runs great it's on beautiful. the uh, Xbox One S I got. Did you get, did you get that uh, video I sent earlier about the uh, guy who was working on improving, like doing oh, mods, making yeah, the improvements HD, to the graphics? Uh, thing? Yeah. It was like it was like ten minutes worth of watching him uh, render like barrels of uh, and crates and fences. It was like yeah. it was so terrible, but I couldn't stop watching. I, was like, I watched oh, the whole so thing. Stupid. Here's the problem: I, I like yeah. HD. HD mods are cool. I got them I yeah, got for Skyrim. Yeah. I played through New Vegas with mods. Um, I like that, but I don't think this game needs it yet. I think this is a little <laughs> too it. too early. Like when they did yeah. it for Skyrim, and I saw a similar video. It was impressive. You're like, whoa. Look at Skyrim with all this. This is amazing, Mom. Yeah. But you do it here, and it just looks like, no, you know what? The Witcher still looks amazing. I can barely it's tell fine. the difference. The only difference between those two yeah. buckets is your your wood grain ran that direction instead of this direction. Yeah, yeah. The texture wasn't, like, way better or anything. The lighting was a little bit better, so the bloom was a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, was it was it mind-blowing? Nah. Yeah. But it was cool. It was yeah. still cool. I, like, I appreciate the work. Will you, uh, will you be doing something with this bird simulator? Absolutely. So on the 6th, uh, January the 6th, Bird Simulator came out on Steam. And I've been kind of watching this since last year. And it just kind of interested me because it's such a weird idea of, of, of being this bird. As you're like these, these crows and you're just in this little small town uh, and 
and you're just you're just kind of flying around the neighborhood it causing havoc and for some reason that just kind of got me excited and so i think it was like 20 bucks or something i don't even think it was 20 bucks i think it was 15 on sale or something and uh you're essentially you're flying around your little neighborhood as your bird and uh, you're dropping eggs and by the way when you drop these eggs it looks like blood comes off of them and everything <laughs> else and they'll and they'll you can you can aim the eggs and they'll like uh they can blow up people uh, in, in motorcycles and different things, you and know, you like can, eggs uh, do, like real eggs do. Yeah. Like eggs do. Yeah. And you also can, you can pick up like basketballs and, and shoot them in the hoops. But the big important thing here is this is multiplayer. And so you can actually get in, get online and do basically all the same things, but with other people and getting score, uh, for each of those acts of vandalism that you're creating with your bird simulator. But it's, it's, it's a really, I think you really have to see it to appreciate it. It's kind of, it's kind of campy almost, but it's kind of, I kind of dug it. I like it. Side, no, side note, um, someone mentioned the Henry Cavill mod for Witcher 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, I tried it. It freaked me out. I took it off. <laughs> I can't do it. It's just weird. I don't, it doesn't feel right. right to me to have some, to have Geralt look like somebody else. It's just freaking right. me out. I think the show is cool. I like it. And I think he's great in it, but I can't have his face in my game. I just can't yeah. do it. I played too oh. much of it with the other guy. It's just too weird. Bombats is saying in the chat room that he was pretty sure it was ten dollars, and it might be for the might first be, time. Yeah, later. Might be, yeah, might be. Sounds pretty, like a kind of game. It sounds like a game that should be a little cheaper to get. Yeah, it should be. That you don't expect no deep play, but it's kind of like almost like a like a like a tech preview or something. It's like, oh, look at this tech preview. Look, what, look, what we figured out we could do. Look at look at this proof of concept. Feels like a thing they the, made for streamers a little bit. Would you agree? Yeah, probably so. Yeah, yeah. maybe a little bit. That's okay. I don't mind. A little that. bit. Um. All right. Now all right. what? Now what? We oh, everybody, I got all this. I got some tweets oh, saying, hey, what, what kind of camera are you sending Scott? And they're, Brian's using some filter to make it bokeh the background, right? Hurry. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the Skype just Skype's doing filter, it. which mm -hmm. just keeps kicking in and uh, is kind of annoying. And I usually turn it off, but I I thought we'd play with it this time. Not fine. Run you can let it run. Just to see. You can let it run. It's a little bit like. So um, this is what it looks. Uh, this is what it looks like without it. So let me. I think I just turned it off. And so you did. You know. So put it back on just so you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this so is, there is this without, is without the. Uh, yeah, this is without the the Skype blur. And then let's get to this. It's not not convenient at all. And so there it is. There is the blur with the Skype blur, but you can tell it's all software rendering, and sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's yeah, it's just it's just faking it. It's a yeah. it's a pretty good effect for what it is. Like three D like like three D elements or flat elements, like two D things are like actually right now that one's easier. working. Oh, there it goes. I'll blurry now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that game. Dark Siders Three is also on Game Pass. People should get it there. Yes, you. yes, that's a good game. I like dark. Mm -hmm. I like that whole series. That's why. That's why I got the PS4 version because I have the PS4 Pro, and I was curious. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll do a comparison on the uh, on the 360. A uh, 360. I about said it. I did the the Xbox One, and uh, and why am I having so much trouble with that lately? I don't know. I don't know. Like when when the consoles came first hit the uh, the market, the current generation of consoles I had no trouble calling them what they were. But late in the generation, for some reason, I've been calling my Xbox the 360. I even called my Switch a Wii the other day, and I'm like, what the? <laughs> what is that, dude? What the? What is that? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't understand what's going on with my head. I like, I uh, I've been playing my PC and my Switch so exclusively that I forgot to even, I don't even think my PlayStation or my Xbox are plugged in. They're not. Right. Mine are plugged in. I wish I kind of feel bad, but it's uh, this happens the end of every console cycle, every time. Right. I I hear about new ones and I go, all right, old and busted, you're over there. I'm <laughs> gonna work. My PC never gets old, so let's do that. And right. I'll focus on that. And the Switch is still prime, so let's do that. Uh, all y'all sit over there. That's kind of my bad attitude. And I admit it's a me thing. It may not be everybody, but that's definitely how I. Well, think. if you're listening, to Doghouse, uh, I'm, I, this is this is the year. Later this year, I'm doing me a PC gaming PC. So I'll be reaching out. All right. Look. I'll use my uh, frog pants uh, coupon code. Yeah, do that. Frog we'll save one. you some money on a, like a hard drive or something. <laughs> frog pants one is that the code? I don't know. The code <laughs> I don't think there is one. It's a me Mario. <laughs> All right, time for us to play a little game. We call it Guess My Game. Uh, we pick Guess a game it. from yesteryear. It can be it can be new though. It can be anything. We're just trying to stump each other as to what game it is, and uh, test each other's game knowledge based on audio alone. So I always start this thing. I'm going to start it now. I will tell you this is an old game. 
and it's from the arcade. How old? Well, you'll have to try to figure it out. Here it is. Get ready. Any guesses yet? None. Is it a is it a race game? I'm assuming. It's a racing game, yeah. Uh, do you get to do you get to ride with a with a pretty blonde like with her little pixelated hair? Yes. Are you riding like in a red Ferrari? Yes. It's a. It's Is it a, Outrun? It's Outrun. Well done. All right. Sega's Outrun. I used to like Sega's Outrun a lot. Oh my I, god, I played that so much. It had, no had really cool rumble features in the in the uh, yeah. steering wheel. So if you hit any kind of Dirt, gravel, side of the road, whatever. Your wheel would go and like rumble and stuff. I love that. One of my favorite things. Okay. That was Outrun, Sega Outrun. I'm going to start. You know, it's the other thing we're going to do this year, I think, for Guess My Game. I think we're going to spend more time digging up cool facts about the games we do. I think. Oh, see, fun. that's what I would like to do. Yeah, yeah. like a little. Yeah. Ooh, I like that idea. More than just Sega made it. Like I could say, here's the year it debuted. Ended up on these right. consoles. Uh, currently available in this format. Uh, it had a sequel. It wasn't as popular. Blah, 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 like all that stuff. <laughs> and those are all it things I... popular. Kinda, it kind of sucked. <laughs> it kind of blew. All right, here's yours. Let me see if I can figure it out. Have not heard it. Here it is. Commander, you've chosen to deploy operatives from each soldier class. This balanced force has a good mix of skills. They should have a tactical response to any situation that arises. The troops are awaiting your orders to proceed. Is it the Green Army Men game? Yeah, the Green Army Men game. No, it's not the Green Army okay. Men game. Okay, okay, hold on then. It's a PC game. It's a PC game. How old? 2012. Okay. You've made it much harder for the enemy to hit. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 this is um, this is the first uh, remake. The uh, XCOM Enemy Within. There you go. Good job. Got it. I knew I'd played it even. Like I yeah, knew that voice. Knew yeah, right. Yeah, the new one is so much better. Uh, like voices and st everything's everything's better in two. Two is amazing. Right, right. Absolutely. But uh, good, Agreed. good pull, dude. That's a good one. Yeah, I was like, I've been trying to find some newer stuff because oh, it's so easy to go. Well, it's not. It's we. I feel like I've kind of run out of arcade games. I'm like, unless they go something obscure, and I'm like, oh man, I don't. Want to do that. Well, since we both got that right, what do we win? Do we win anything? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. What do we get? Yeah, what should we win? We should win. Uh, we should get our own game codes that we don't already have. That's not going to happen. That's what I think, too. It's not going to happen. All right. Now, this. Time for us to uh, read an email. This is from a listener. I guess you have two of these. One of these is a giveaway, and we're going to do it right here on the show. Ooh. This is from Harry Babcock. It's a cool name. I'm not saying anything else about it. It's a great name. I love how you stalled and then you like you like Paul is like, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna say it's a neat name. Thank you. Harry Babcock wrote in. Uh, very nice of him to do this. He's giving away a free buddy pass for Stadia. Yeah. Uh Brian gave me his I gave, and I still haven't used it. I'm gonna say, yeah, I gave I might gave mine to Scott. I gotta so get in totally, there. Totally totally wasted time. Gotta get in there. Um Anyway, says, hey, Scott, I love your shows and listen to quite a few of them. I know uh or say, I know you give away licenses once in a while for games. And I have a buddy pass I'm not using. I'm hoping you can make use of it. Or maybe you or a family member want to use it. Either way, enjoy. Uh, thank you for putting out great content and being the voice of reason under other stuff. Uh, the satirical humor is needed to keep me from just cringing all day long. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to give this code away to somebody in the chat. And the way it's going to work is... Uh, Oh, I thought I had this up. I don't have this up. And here's a little here's a little tip for those who are interested in playing this, Stadia. Yeah. It, it is... Do be aware that it is cloud gaming. So this is Google's cloud gaming service. You will need a good broadband connection yes. uh, to use the Stadia, and you will have a good experience if you have a good broadband connection. Look Don't at you. About the Look at you apologizing thing. in advance for their lackluster launch. Look at you. Right. Well, it's not like I said. I, I really feel like it's just one of those things. It's like, well, it, it'll be good if it's if if you're in the right situation if you're in the right situation it's amazing i'm so lucky and fortunate that my current bandwidth handles it great i got the founders pack got the controller got the 
the Chromecast 4K, and this is perfect on that. It's a little bit, it's not as good on the, when I play it on the, on the, in the Chrome browser, but uh, the, my current setup is just amazing. It's, this is the ideal setup for this. Nice. Well, be like Brian and be ideal and have the best setup. Ideal. Be ideal. All right, so I'm going to pick a winner. You got to put you, this keyword in the chat room. The word is Stadia, S-T-A-D-I-A, -A, Stadia. Type that in there, and after this next email, I'll award it to somebody. So start typing it now. And it will start tracking uh, who you are and what your deal is. Okay. While you do that, here's another email. This came to us from Rhode Island. It's Chris. He says, hello, Scott and Brian. Wondering if either of you guys have tried the digital pinball game Demon's Tilt yet. It's mm -hmm. a spiritual success of the Devil's Crush on the TurboGrafx-16, uh, or otherwise known as Dragon's Fury on the Genesis. It is a brilliant mm. game uh, with crazy 16-bit sprite-style graphics and chiptune music. It's currently available on Xbox Game Pass. Uh, which is where I got it, wow. by the way. Uh, so it's a no-brainer to try out. I'm actually playing it on the PC. It is on the Game Pass for Xbox or PC. It's also available on Switch. It's on Steam also. Uh, on the Switch, though, you get some graphical sacrifices. This is one of those games that warns you about your uh, tendency toward, like, seizures. Because uh, it's right. some crazy stuff going on. Um, but anyway, uh, oh, it, it does say on the, the plus side on the Switch is you can turn it to be more like a pinball or, uh, um, you know, portrait style instead of wide. oh yeah 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 so that's kind of cool oh, that's kind of cool yeah, yeah. That's way cool he says i've been addicted to this indie game for so long uh no rest till i'm at the one billion club love the show guys keep it up one chris billion club so i got it uh just for the crap of it about a month ago uh without even knowing about this email and i keep forgetting to mention it it is very cool it is you know it's pinball but it's this 16-bit era looking pinball it's got cool physics crazy stuff happening it feels like heavy metal just oozing out of everything it's it's great. Brian, you should play it. It's fun. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking it up on the Switch. Demon's Tilt. And if you don't get it there again, Game Pass has it. And it played real good on my PC. So I just feel like the Switch will be like the ideal place to play a pinball game. I yeah, think. plus you're, you know, you're on the go with that thing. Like that's yeah, that's right. probably a better thing. Anyway, it's very cool. Check it out. Thank you, Chris from Rhode Island. We will now <laughs> award that code. Our winner is this person. Wabbit Magic. Wabbit Magic, you were chosen at Wabbit Magic. Uh, chosen at random by the, sy the system, say something in the chat, and I'll give you that code, and you can go try Stadia. Give it a shot. See what you think. You got a buddy pass, yo. Uh, You're doing it. You're doing it. You say, yo, yo, winner. Yeah, he hasn't said anything in the chat yet. Hopefully, uh, I'll get that in a second. I will watch for your post. Actually, if you don't, if you don't, mm, if you don't hear me reply to you real quick here, Rabbit Magic, in a private message, just send me one, and then I can get talking to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm always seeing Rabbit Magic around the. Yeah. In around fact, the place if you see him before i do oh there he is i'll just do it now okay sorry but that was weird. you won you won uh the code is now being copied you go to oh, google yeah. stadia or wherever stadia's website to do this is i don't know where that is <clears throat> oh yeah i think i think it's just uh is it stadia.com certainly, stadia certainly if you google it you'll find it yeah maybe you could look on youtube oh i can't because right. oh actually i can log in no problem it's it just reminds me constantly that I'm not logged. I'm sorry. I can't log in. I can view like a viewer, but it keeps saying, hey, you should log into your account. You're not currently logged in. Really? You, really? Blo you blocked really, me out really. of logging. It won't let me log in, you jackasses. All right. Anyway. Not that we're angry. No, not that we're angry at all. I'm very angry. So I got a question for you. Yeah. So every day you do a podcast. Well, not every day. Most days you Most do a podcast days, yeah. with that with that Ibit. Yeah. And I noticed underneath my name, it says Brian. Is that the same font used for Brian Ibit? Where? Or is that a whole new layer? Oh. Uh, on the, on this, yeah. Oh, I did that for you and me. Just for you and oh. me. Because this, good, o good. this so overlay is not our... like reused. No, no, you no. You didn't no. copy and paste it no. from the TMS or nothing. No, oh, okay. this, is our, sure. this is our own unique right. overlay for, for you and me only. Yeah. Okay. I don't reuse my overlays. I feel a little better now. <laughs> I just want to make sure that was mine. Oh, wow. I should have said no. It's I copied and pasted it, and right, copied and pasted yeah, it right out of there, just to give you crap. Uh, send us your own emails, boopshow at gmail .com. That's boopshow at gmail .com. Leave us voicemails at eight zero one four seven one zero four six two. We'd love those as well. That is gonna do it for today's show, I believe. Uh, don't forget, you can go to the website too, boopshow .com. and uh, we're back to weekly. We got some new stuff planned, some cool ideas percolating around. Percolating? No, percolating. Perk. Perk percolator. It's not perk you. It's perk uh percolating, per right? Percolator. Okay, we had that right. Per uh, isn't that a brand, anyway? Isn't that like a, a percolator? It's not really a. 
I don't know. It's not really a word, right? It was, it was like a brand name first, and then it became, or is that totally wrong? Well, let me find I'm out. Sure. Let's find out. Percolating. Percolating. Uh, here we go. Percolator. Freedictionary.com says, let's see how it said. Percolate. 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 <laughs> he said, percolate. It sounds like Randy, doesn't it? Percolate. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Percolate. <laughs> we found Randy's side job. Uh, no, it is not a brand, although some people may have it in their name, but it's uh, it's a thing that you do. Oh, interesting. To cause liquid, for example, to pass through a uh, porous substance or small holes or filter. Small to pass holes. or ooze through to make coffee in a oh, percolator. Well, this, I, don't like these. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I me mean neither. Percolate. Oh, okay, that guy creeps me out. Activate Pac-Man. Okay, that was that was a palate, palate cleanser to hear that guy. Let's play Pac-Man. Okay, I'm all good. Uh, Everything's fine now. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, anything else? Brian, any words of wisdom before we go? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, hey, if you're going to if you're gonna video game this week, you you better get on it because it's already Monday afternoon. and Yeah, this will be the, the time. just flies by. Yeah, this will be the time. So get in there. Make it happen. We'll see you guys next week. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. I don't like steam. I love steam. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that never gets old. It keeps getting it keeps getting longer. I love it. Now you're gonna put one ball bob on there. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't heard our